The project is basically split into two. Peters Village, which is the infrastructure for a thousand homes for the local communities. It includes about six kilometres of access roads and all the utilities. And we've moved up to 400,000 cubic metres of chalk and associated materials. Basically, it's a cut and fill balance. We're not taking materials off site. It's an 80 hectare site, so it's absolutely huge. We've got miles and miles of roads, services, drainage. We've had to reduce all of this area down eight metres and raise the lower platform up three. So the amount of chalk moved from here to there is colossal. Different sections of it have been completed. We've completed some of the roads and handed over some of those parcels ready to be built. Other sections like this road probably take another couple of months to be completely finished with all the footpaths and everything. I'm the site foreman for the structures part of the job, so there's two bridges to do. You've got the Medway Valley Crossing and the railway bridge, which is soon to start over the back end of the site. Got a concrete pour, that's the first wall pour on the east side, and then all the support work underneath it has to go in. That takes a lot of time to put that in, a lot of bracing, and then it all has to be signed off before we can even start loading it on the top. The middle of the bridge is about 65 to 70% done at the moment, and then the west side is also coming in to meet in the middle. It's for road, cycle and pedestrian use, so there'll be just two-way traffic on the top, a cycle lane and a pedestrian walkway as well. We've got the client, we've got the local authorities and we're all under one roof, which, which gives collaboration.